Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, in terms of self-inflicted problems, and this is, I, this, I, I promise this is a positive video, or at least it, it will talk about a positive, easy solution for what is a problem that a lot of uh, people in comics, I'm talking a little bit less the creators somewhat, but uh, certainly the uh, editors, certainly the kind of the managing group, the distributors, certainly the whoever's patch, packaging up the trades and, and kind of doing some of the website work, um, there is this internal, I would say, fear uh, at the uh, at the publisher level, the big two publishers, about their comics being very complicated. That it's going to be very hard for a new reader to come in and figure out what's going on, and for anybody to determine kind of what order to do things in. And they do things like on their website, they have like a chronological order, and then they'll have this fairly insane list that you would have to print out and take to a comic shop and try and parse. And uh, what, what got me, I think what got me on is two things. One person uh, posted a meme on Twitter that had uh, kind of, you know, the uh, always sunny in Philadelphia guy, like in front of a, a, a you know, crazy wall chart of like, uh, and it's like U.S. comics are, you know, in order to read this story, you're going to have to read this tie in first and this prequel and this series over here. And then you're going to have to jump over this. And, and then the second panel was manga. And the manga guy's like, Start at chapter one, bro. And that that's kind of a difference between the two. It's not wrong. Because if you head over to Marvel, uh, it, here's one of the, the more baffling things. They have this uh, you know chron chronological order to a storyline. And they do these things where they write this article to try and help you understand, like, who's Kang? Because Kang's in Loki. So who is this Kang guy? And it's like chronological reading order. And, and they put some stuff up there. And then if you go and you try and actually uh, read the things on the chronological reading order, you'll discover, A, uh, some of the issues are not on Marvel Unlimited, and B, the issues are not collected in trade uh, according to the chronological order that they, they themselves put on the website. So it's, it's just this, hey, here's a helpful guide for how to read things, and uh, there's no way to easily get your hands on it. But good luck. Good luck, customer. Um, that, that's just madness. That's the very definition of a self-inflicted problem. But to make matters worse, um, it's not that complex nor it's that hard. So one of the things, if you've been to a comic shop, one of the things that comic customers like to do, and maybe this is, by the way, one of the clues for why people uh, who enjoy comics like to bitch so much on social media, it's because uh, that we're wired to be that way. We're wired to be super anal retentive about everything. And that kind of comes across in some of the conversations that, that people have. But um, the, the, uh, the, the comic customers, the readers, the fans, they enjoy kind of debating if this comic came before this comic and where in continuity this fell and could this possibly have happened because the Flash is uh, you know racing over here at a certain speed, but then he goes over here and he's, a, he's, a, he's showing a weakness, but that doesn't kind of... That, that doesn't mix with his adventures on Earth 2 that were done in a different direction, and, and on and on it goes. And the customers, um, even though they are you know, fierce arguments and they can be uh, very intensive and people can post up little like fan blogs and everything trying to you know, untangle this convoluted mess, the, the correct response from the publishers should be nothing. And get, stay out of that argument. It's not for you. It's, this this argument is not for you. Um, they they don't need to. The, the comic customers, the fans, there is an aspect of them that enjoy debating these things. Getting in there and trying to be part of that debate, to trying to like set the record straight from the publisher level, is not a role any publisher should try and do. It's it, there's no there's nothing gained by it. The customers often enjoy those conversations, like those conversations, and enjoy getting into the minutia of things. The comic publishers need to just sit back and make comics and try to do the best they can. I don't say you ignore continuity, not at all, but you don't need to try and explain the various craziness that goes on over a 80-year time span. What you should do is try and just have basic organization of your line that you're publishing at this moment. You should be thinking about a three-year plan or so. You should uh, pay attention to what people are asking for and then certainly collect those runs in trades or omnibuses or whatever you do. But what you shouldn't do is say, ah, crap, well, um, let's, uh, let's have a crisis because things have gotten way too complicated and that there's just no way that the Green Lantern could have been in the same universe as the Flash during this moment. So we're going to have to explain it all by having a crisis event. 
Like that, that's a terrible decision and it's not necessary. And you don't need to go up on your, um, on your website and create chronological reading orders for characters that are insane to try and parse through. There's just, there, there's no, there's, there's no, there, nobody wants that. Nobody cares about that. Let the fans do that. Let the customers get involved in kind of creating that stuff. It's fun. Hey, uh, you know, Marvel, don't send cease and desist letters to fan websites to try and put this stuff together. Just let them do it. They're not taking any money from you. They're, they're promoting your comics, if anything. And it, it's, it's really, I mean, the, the place where it's hammered home is that it's, again, using the manga example is a good example because there's tons of manga. And in many cases, it's created, uh, well, not many cases, it's created in Japan. It's shipped over to the U.S. There's already some translation issues. And in many cases, this, this manga is written in serialized stories weekly in, uh, in, in various magazines. And then it's collected up in a volume and distributed over here. There's way more opportunity for that to be confusing. And yet, it, it isn't confusing. It manages to make sense. And the reason it manages to make sense is people just focus straightforward on just making a good story. They don't get involved in, in craziness. Um, My Hero Academia has the core series, and then My Hero Academia has a spinoff, Vigilantes. And uh, Vigilantes is set during a different time period. It's set, it's set before um, the, uh, the, the events of My Hero Academia. But rather than try and create this convoluted, the events of this story take place, like if you open the book up, it's, this story takes place before My Hero Academia. Like, it's a sentence. And then they're done. And then they just tell their story. They don't go through crazy uh, mechanics to try and explain to you how, you know, exactly in which time period did this take place and did that correspond with this thing over here. They're just like, here's the story. And if you want to start at the beginning, you start with uh, Volume 1. One Piece has a thousand chapters. A thousand of them with various arcs. They have... Uh, the Alabasta arc, they have the you know, Water 7, they have uh, Impel Down, they have these various, they're doing the Wano arc right now, which is comprised of smaller arcs. There's these, these big arcs that are part of One Piece. Despite that, it is really easy to figure out how to read One Piece. You, you start at book one, and then you proceed. And if you want to skip an arc, and there are people who do it, if you want to skip it, you can generally... Um, you know, with very minor effort, say, all right, skip to the next arc, pick up the new volume, start reading. There's generally like two pages of recap. If you're watching the anime, there's like, uh, God, do you remember when um, they found Chopper and, uh, and, and there was a whole story about the doctor and then, uh, you know, they, they, Chopper was, uh, was working for the doctor and he wanted to create a cherry blossom uh, kind of tree to, to make everybody happy. That was kind of the, the point of it. And it was how Chopper got to be a member of the crew. And then after that point, um, they recapped the event of the uh, doctor who helped Chopper roughly 5,000 times in the anime. Like you saw that moment at least 50 points. My, my daughters uh, got so familiar with that scene, uh, they, they could recite it. Like the, the, the anime would start with a little flashback and they would just start reciting the words because they'd seen it so many times. My, my point is, they, they, they One Piece did it. This is one of the few times I'm complaining about One Piece. One Piece did it too much. But it, it was not hard. None of this was difficult to kind of figure out. So if One Piece can juggle a thousand chapters written in another country, translated and brought over here, then surely U.S. comics can do the, uh, d you know, d do not need to fall into this, this trap. It's not hard. None of this is that difficult. Uh, comic publishers, you know, opt in to making this a problem for themselves. They don't need to, not necessary, not, uh, not something that, that anyone is asking for. Nobody is asking for the comic publishers to create this, uh, lunatic continuity parsing problem. Nobody, nobody, nobody wants that. And in fact, and I can't stress this enough, many comic customers are naturally inclined to want to solve this problem for themselves. It would be like Lego, uh, basically offering a, an option where you could go into a Lego store and you could buy the Lego box with all the, with whatever it is, the, the Millennium Falcon already assembled. So you go in there and you're like, I like the Legos, but I actually do not want to put it together myself. I'd like to just have it come out of the box already done. And that's, that's what I'm looking No, nobody wants that. The fans like, like this, this experiment. 
the only time the fans get really frustrated about continuity and where it becomes an actual problem is where the publisher makes them care, makes them start to, uh, you know, basically gets in there and try and solve the problem and does so in a half-assed way that is, you know, inaccurate that comic customers can easily punch holes into or basically creates just bizarre new rules that they have to follow around. Like, the second you're forcing a comic customer to try and figure out how people age in the linear verse, you 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 fucked up. That's that's what you 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 you've, you've gone wrong. And that that's the, that's the definition of it. So so the, this is one of those weird cases where the advice to publishers and to editors in particular is don't do less. Don't worry about it. Just just go get a milkshake. Whatever you have to do. Just just you do not need to get yourself involved in this problem. Save it for coordination so your books come out on time, making sure that in the moment you're not using uh, Craven the Hunter and then another writer is using Craven the Hunter in a radically different way. Like Focus on those kinds of conflicts. You do not need to focus on trying to uh, you know untangle exactly when you know this character visited the 616 and then went over to Earth 1112. I mean, it's just... just I hope to God, by the way, I, I, I suspect there, like Tom Brevoort somewhere in his desk has this giant file folder with all the earths, the six ones, all these different uh, realities marked out with like, this one's comprised of just fish. This one's got women in it for all the men. This one is, uh, got volcanoes and this one's got puppies. Like I, I guarantee you it's mapped out somewhere. And that, that both, that's both horrifying to me and, and, and oddly charming in, in a weird way. But anyway, simple problem. Yes. That's one area where manga does it much, much better, and they do it much better by doing less. Just just do less. Easy. Easy peasy. What do you think? True? False? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for listening.